In a recent video, I was talking about the release of the Alpha Fold 2 and how DeepMind shared their source code on GitHub where other researchers and also other enthusiasts could get access to their code in order to build their very own predicted protein structure from the amino acid sequence. And so in this video, we're going to talk about an exciting collaboration between DeepMind and also the EMBO EBI which is a reputable bioinformatic institute and how that collaboration led to the release of the AlphaFold protein structure database. And so let's get started. So in the previous video, I briefly mentioned about this GitHub of AlphaFold2 where you could get access to the code as a Docker. And also they provided with some information on how you could download the necessary databases. However, if your computer is short on storage and you need a quicker way to test out AlphaFold, let me show you this Google Colab. So this is the AlphaFold 2 Google Colab and it is actually a tuned down version of the Fold 2 version of AlphaFold. And so in this tuned down version, it does not make use of templates, protein structure, and therefore they mention here that the accuracy might suffer. However, for most proteins, they're going to be pretty much near identical performance. And so if you would like to give AlphaFold 2 a try, you could check out this particular Google Colab. And so I have already run this two cells to install the third-party software and the AlphaFold executable version. And here I'm inputting the example sequence that came along with the Google Colab and then I click on the run. And currently right now it's doing a search against the databases and then it's going to perform the prediction and allow me to download the prediction. And so I'll provide you the link to this particular Google Colab and so you could give it a try. And so this is an awesome way to take AlphaFold 2 for a test drive. And so one exciting news about the partnership between the EMBO EBI and the DeepMind is that the AlphaFold 2 is being applied to make predictions on the entire human proteome, which they have already done. And it covers about 98.5% of all human proteins, which is about 20,000 to 30,000 proteins. And so the work described here is hosted on this particular database, the AlphaFold protein structure database. And so if you would like to read some more details, you could check out this particular research article and I'll provide you the link to it as well. And so let's jump over to the news of the collaboration between DeepMind and the EMBO EBI. And so this is the news about the EPIC collaboration, which was released on 22nd of July, 2021. And today's 23rd. And so this is a recent news and I'm particularly very excited about this because the thing is all of the human proteins are now being predicted and they're offered publicly for anyone to get access to the protein structure. And the exciting news is because that the ability to have access to these protein structures would be useful for researchers and that they could use it for designing new drugs. They could use it to design better enzymes for industrial applications. And so the possibilities are endless. And so I'll provide you the link to this particular blog post as well. And let's take a quick look at some of the feedback from the scientific community. And so you can see here that most of these are reputable Nobel laureates in chemistry, in physiology, in medicine, and also in chemistry in 2009 as well. And so all of them are very happy about this epic progress that DeepMind has made and also the collaboration between DeepMind and the EMBO EBI. And so let's have a look at the AlphaFold protein structure database. So here you could type in the protein of your interest and then click on search. So why don't we do that? Let's type in, let's see, cytochrome, and then it'll give you some examples. And then let's click on the first one as, a, as an example, right? Very nice. So it has the PDB file here, which is the three-dimensional protein structure file format. So you could click on it, download it to your computer, and then you could visualize the protein. Or you could use the web version here. So you could zoom in as well, zoom out, rotate it. 
could click on particular positions and it will highlight for you to see. And so this is the zoomed in version. Okay, very nice. So they even color code the confidence that they have in the prediction. So the high confidence will be in the dark blue while red color here will be lower confidence. So most of the protein structure are pretty much in high confidence. You can see like bluish color and yellow, which is moderately good. Okay. Aside from the loop region here, it's in low confidence mode here. And this is normal because loop regions are pretty unstructured and therefore they're more difficult to predict. All right. So this is a look at the page of the particular protein of interest. Let's go back to the front page. And so they also provide you some other example as well. Let's say that I click on the E. coli, all right? And then you can see that there are a couple of uncharacterized proteins that they have already made predictions for. And so scientists who are working with some of these proteins and they haven't yet obtained the X-ray crystallographic structure of it, they could take a glance at the predicted version here. Let's click on one of them. So this is the alpha helix, so it's a short segment, so a small peptide. And let's have a look at some of the information provided here on the front page. So yeah, right here, another interesting point here is that they're mentioning here that in the coming months, the AlphaFold database will contain an expanded range of more than 100 million proteins from the UniRef90 database from UniProt. And Uniprod is a protein repository, and so there are over 100 million proteins spanning all organisms. And so it will be interesting, and it is definitely a big scientific breakthrough that has never been done before, which is to perform a massive prediction of all 100 million proteins that are ever existed. And so I'll keep you guys updated on that. And so let's have a look at the prediction. So it's still ongoing and it might take some time. And you could also feel free to enter your own protein sequence here. So if you're a researcher or a graduate student and you're working on designing some proteins, engineering some proteins, you could definitely perform some mutagenesis and put in your query protein here and take it for a test drive. And so I'll provide you the links in the video description. And so if you're finding value in this video, please support the channel by smashing the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and also hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.